Welcome back to my channel. In the last video, I showed you how to open a champagne bottle. I was thinking maybe I should do a simple video to show you how to open a wine bottle as well. In this video, I'm gonna show you the steps and tools that I use to open a wine bottle. And by the way, if you like my video and would like to give support to my channel, please like and subscribe. Let's get started. Okay, so the first step in opening a wine bottle, obviously, you're right, is to have a wine opener. So the wine opener that I have is called a waiter corkscrew. So it's a very popular corkscrew. You may have seen it um, in the market. So um, there's three parts to this corkscrew. There's the lever, there's the worm, which is the screw, and it's also um, we also have the foil cutter at the end. Now the one that I have is called waiter corkscrew because if you pay attention to the lever, you will see that it's actually two hinge. So this is the first hinge and this is the second hinge. Now most of the corkscrew that you can find in the market is actually single hinge. Now with two hinge, it makes the whole wine opening experience more practical and easier because as you screw up to the end of the cork, um, the angle is much better with a two hinge corkscrew. So this is something that you may want to pay attention to when you buy a corkscrew. Now the brand of the corkscrew that I have is called Frutax. Um, it is a Spanish company and it's uh, one of the most famous uh, wine accessory producing company. Now I have it for a few years, it's very functional, it's very practical. I'm showing the brand to you now but just a side note to it, I'm not getting paid or anything, it's not a sponsor uh, video. So uh, I just put the link down below if you want to check it out. Um, it's a, a it's a very good corkscrew. It's not very expensive. It costs you a few bucks US dollar, but it can go a long way. If you don't already have a corkscrew, I think it's worth considering buying one. A double hinge corkscrew. It doesn't have to be this brand. Um, you can find double hinge corkscrew quite often and um, basically anywhere. If you are interested, do have a look and Google around. Now let's move on to the practical part. So the second step to open a wine bottle is to get a wine bottle that you want to open. So the next step that you want to do is to open up the foil. There are several ways to open up the foil. Some people choose to open the foil by cutting the foil at the bottom. Some people cut it here, which is called the lower lip, and some people cut it here at the upper lip. The recommended place to cut the foil is on the lower lip, not here and not here. So it's not wrong to cut it here, but it's just that because it's part of the packaging and there's a bit of information um, on here as well. A lot of people want to keep this intact um, after they open the wine. Um, some people cut it here. And now this is not really recommended on the upper end of the bottle because it's too close to the opening of the wine bottle. So it may actually contaminate the wine when you pour the wine out. So uh, the recommended place is actually to cut it here. So we're gonna do it now. Okay, so the next step is to um, insert the screw into the middle of the cork, like this. So you can leave a bit of space at the end. Um, you don't have to screw in the whole uh, screw into the cork. And then we'll pull up the cork using the first hinge, like this. So as you can see, there isn't enough space for the first hinge, so you need to switch it to the second hinge, like this. Alright, so there you go. Um, so the cork is out and it's intact, it didn't break. Then the next step is to clean it up uh, with a clean uh, Soviet or paper um, to clean up some sediment or uh, crystal because you don't want to contaminate the wine um, when it gets poured out. So that's it. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope you like it. And I hope that you have learned something new. If you have already been opening wine bottles this way, that's great. If you have not, do try out this new method. I find it to be one of the easiest way to open wine bottles. Let me know what you think and see you next time. Ciao!